If you like our videos, please don't forget to support the channel and subscribe. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to test Back 4 Blood on my budget gaming desktop as a Nitro N50 with an NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti and the 10th generation Intel i5. Let's start with low quality settings. Here we get around 180 frames per second. Sometimes we hit 200. Let's switch this to ultra performance and see how many frames per second can you get. We, we saw a little improvement. We are now getting around 200, a little bit above. 220, 230. We have definitely SMG. an improvement. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Need to find a good brand. Let's switch it to medium graph quality settings. Okay. Like this we get around 170. With a GPU usage of around 50%. This is not pushing nice. all the, the power that the GPU has to, to give. Yes, we get around the 170 steady frame rate. Come on, move it. Let's switch to high quality setting and let's see. You see that? Okay, we still get around the same GPU usage and CPU usage of around 50%, but we get a drop on frame rate. We get around 130 frames per second. I don't know why, but this game doesn't push all the GPU power. Not even the CPU, we have nothing limiting the, the frame rate. SMG here. If we could use all the GPU, we should get around 200 more frames per second. Cover me, Walker. Reloading. I thought you were trained to use that. Well, watch where you park yourself. Bandages here. Let's switch it to ultra quality settings and let's see how the game plays. Okay, now we get a little more usage of the CPU, but not the GPU. At around 70% of the CPU and around 60% at most of the GPU. And we get around 150 frames per second. But right now we have Nothing too much to render on this Gotta scene. Something around here. I think this will drop a little bit when we have more. Okay. Yes, now we get around 110 frames per second. This feels more right. Okay, now we are talking. Let's try to push it to quality and let's see if we get a drop in frame rate. Okay, we get a little bit drop, but I don't think that it makes too much of a difference. Locked. <laughs> Maybe with a less powerful GPU this will make a bigger difference. So yes guys, this is it, 
we can play this game with a plus 200 frames per second in low quality setting and around 130 frames per second in ultra quality setting. Stay tuned for the next episode. As always, let me know in the comments which games you want me to test and what videos do you think we should do or do, or do you like to see. And see you next time. This way. If you like our videos, please don't forget to support the channel and subscribe.